I use ah. <laughs> this is not funny. Bonjour, bon après-midi, bon soir, bon nuit, bon everything to you whenever you get to see this video. If you're new here, I'm Bindu. If you're a returning subscriber, yeah, welcome back. New subscriber, returning subscriber, please give this video a thumbs up now. Right. In this video, I'm going to be answering my frequently asked questions relating to YouTube. Aside like my frequently asked questions, I told you guys to send me questions relating to YouTube and all of that good stuff. I think I think I have been saying nonsense. Absolute nonsense. If you've been following up on the channel, you know there's a time I like uploaded every day. Like this time I uploaded every day for seven days. So yeah, we're about to do that again. But this time around we're doing it for ten days. <laughs> so help. Hopefully I have the strength to complete it. Amen. So today's the first day. Yeah. And in this video, I'm going to be answering my frequently asked questions. First question: what is it like shooting and editing a video to perfection before posting it? What is it like? What's it actually like? It depends. Some videos are so easy to edit, like really easy to edit. While some videos, hell, yeah, that's it. I don't know if I answered that question well, but I don't know what it's like. It's hard. It's tough. It's not easy. There are times I just want to edit. I feel like editing. So those times it's like fun for me. And then there are times that you don't feel like editing, but you just have to edit because you have to. I don't even know if I'm answering the question or well, sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not. Next fun. question What do you enjoy the most about being a YouTuber? I like the. Do you get? If you don't get it, forget about it. You know, being a YouTuber comes with like popularity, the popularity, the people text you and they're like, oh my god, I watch your videos, I like your videos. People like random people, people you don't know. It gives, you know, it's a good feeling. Do you really like me? what do you do on the days you feel like nothing is working or you don't have any content on days like this i rest when things are not working when you're not getting do not force things i don't youtube is not a place to like force things i'm going to say you don't force things wait for it to come it will come naturally and when it comes you carry your camera film but when it's not coming just relax don't force it if you force things the relationship will get toxic and toxic relationships are not good for your health your mental health so it will surely crash so just take things slowly and naturally next question how did you start making youtube videos like who and what inspired you or made you start plus confidence is like a superpower to me how are you so confident <laughs> this is a compliment <laughs> thank you but i i don't think i'm all that confident i don't know i don't know but confidence it's just me and my camera i'm not like this outside to be very honest if it's just you and your camera i feel well some people are camera shy so people don't have this i don't know where it came from but i mean aside from like when i was little i was used to public speaking like right from when I was very little, I used to like stand in front of crowd. I, I'm, always on, I'm always on stage. You know, I've always been the highlights. I'm used to addressing the public. So I don't know. Camera should not be my problem. I'm used to camera. So who and what inspired me? <laughs> what inspired me? I want to be out there. I really want to be out there. I want people to hear me. I want people to know my opinions i want people to listen to my opinions i want people to know what i like i just want to be out there that is what inspired me then to who inspired me nobody inspired me actually but if i'm to give credit to anybody like i always wanted to like have my channel and everything but i was initially scared not scared like scared but i didn't know anybody who was doing it and i didn't want to so I had this my cousin that was a YouTuber or that is a YouTuber and I was like, okay, she's doing it. So why not? Why not? So I'm here. The link to our channel will be in the description. Next thing here is not a question. This person says, subscribe to our YouTube channel, D4Things. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
please and if you are watching this video like this video now right away right away i'm waiting for you it doesn't take time just like it the next question what's the biggest challenge you are facing or faced biggest challenge as a youtuber oh, everything about youtube is just crazy like there are a lot of challenges but i feel like having to keep up with relationships has to be like maybe my biggest i don't know if it's my biggest but that's what's coming to my head right now like having to keep up with relationships it is tough it is war so that's it how do you make youtube videos how first thing is to have the idea to know what you want to do and then what you want the video to come out like what you want your intro to look like what you want the outro to look like the, the words you want to use in the video the expressions you need for the video the energy you need for the video you need to know all of that and then you set your camera get your angle start filming that's it next thing here anyways sha you all should subscribe like and comment she didn't do really tries with this youtube of a thing so you all should appreciate that louder louder this person didn't start at all thank you whoever this is thank you you guys should like comment share and subscribe that's the only thing you can do for me this support thing oh. yeah what camera do you use because i so much love your quality i use an 8 plus and i also use 18 inches ring lights how do you come up with video ideas uh, sometimes i search for it on the net sometimes i just like watch youtube videos i watch other youtube videos and sometimes the idea just comes like it just comes like an inspiration you just see something you can just be gesting with your friend and it comes in many ways it can come anytime anywhere any and i'm going to advise you if you're a youtuber or if you want to be a youtuber and that like, you get ideas just write them down because believe me if you don't write them down you're going to forget that idea like you are going to forget it once an idea pops up i write it down so that's how i come up with video ideas next question how do you find the time nobody has time and everybody has time it is something that if you put your mind to it you'll be able to do it you'll definitely be able to do it if you put your mind to it yeah i feel this time thing is all about you i have friends who are youtubers that are like oh they are going to school they can't film or they are going to work they can't film i understand that perfectly well but i feel like if you are able to manage your time okay today like every wednesday i'm going to film a video youtube video doesn't really take much time to film to be very honest i'm not so perfect at managing time but then i know when i want to film and i film when i want to film it's just time management depends on what you use your time to do and how you want to use your time the time you're using to scroll endlessly and aimlessly on instagram you can film to me next question how do you get confident talking to a camera i think i've answered something like this i like to talk to the camera so but i'm not like this outside i'm saying it again i'm quiet outside next question how long does it take you to make a video depending on the content when you say make do you mean like record or you mean the whole recording and editing and processing and uploading and I don't know i don't know i can't do i can't do everything in one day and sometimes i drag like maybe i just edit like for like 30 minutes in a day or it depends like now i'm about to start a 10 days thing i know that this is what i'm facing like i have to do it i don't know i can't answer the question it's just all about you if you want to be lazy if you want to be hard up if you want to be sharp sharp if you want to be slow if you want to take your time it's just all about you next question how did you get started how I just created my channel um how did i get started <laughs> i don't know i just i just wanted to have a channel and the time i just create my channel i did i could not create my channel because of the phone i was using like there was no space there i could not i could not do all of that thing youtube was not something i could do with that kind of phone so when i got the phone that i could use for youtube that was how i started eh? yes i started with my phone just my phone just my phone that was how i i don't know if i'm answering this question correctly you know some questions here you need to be direct like like how did you start like how how did i start making videos i mean do you mean i'm confused i don't know the context you're asking this question in 
but if it's another context i like i like to talk and i can talk to a camera so having a youtube channel is not a bad idea or was not a bad idea that's how i started making videos next question how long have you been making youtube videos i've been making youtube videos since it's almost two years now yes but then i used to play like those times i used to play if we are talking of like when i became serious um that's four months now that was when i started making videos like i was serious with youtube but two years ago i was playing i upload one video today upload another one next two months i was in rubbish that time Question. have you ever felt like giving up like in my head i know that this youtube thing is not something i can end so like i know i can't stop it but have i felt like yes but i can't does that make sense yes i felt like giving up i always feel like giving up it is a very normal thing to feel that way but no if you come and continue carry your camera that's what i tell my friends when they start doing i'm tired nobody's liking my videos nobody's commenting on my videos i'm even going to give up blah, 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 blah. what am i doing wrong blah, 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 blah. why is youtube doing? i will just look at you and tell you when you are done when you finish crying you carry your camera carry your camera and continue you always feel like giving up but trust me it's will be worth it in the end because i know it's worth it in the end so why would i want to give up i don't care what i'm going through now oh, that's questions how do you make your thumbnails i don't know if you're asking me how or what app i use but how i make my thumbnails i know the title of my video already so i take a mirror i look at myself i try to create the expression i want to have like i want the thumbnail to have in relation to the video and i put my phone on timer and when i'm done if it's only text i need to add i just use in shots and then if i want to do all this i use um pix art i use pix art app yeah that's how i make my thumbnails thanks for asking next question do your parents know you have a youtube channel yes my parents know i have a youtube channel they knew when i created the channel because they were one of my first 10 subscribers next question who did you tell about having a youtube channel first i told my best friend first yes next question have you ever deleted a youtube video by mistake i have never deleted a youtube video by mistake i've deleted youtube videos but not by mistake okay by mistake i've deleted an edited video a video i edited i've deleted it by mistake but good thing was i still had the like, original next question please we need blog though hmm. there as to that one it's not me it's not in my power i can't do anything I stay at home all day. What am I vlogging? I don't even know. I don't do anything literally. Next thing, when you hit 1k subscribers, how did you feel? Oh my god. I was so happy. I was so happy that 1,000 people. 1,000 people. Oh, uh, is it easy? No, it's not easy. How do you deal with discouragingly low comments or likes, especially when the views are considerably high? This thing could be so annoying and frustrating when people are watching your videos and you can see that people are watching your videos and they are not leaving comments they are not liking the videos for the third time i'm asking you guys to like this video like it now sometimes i wish youtube could give us like in analytics i wish they could show oh this person watched your video to the end this person did not like this person did not comment I wish YouTube had something like that and then we could enter those people's DMs. So I'm going to enter a lot of yours DM to ask you why you're putting a lot of effort into like making a video and then the outcome of the video doesn't match the efforts you put in the video. It could be so frustrating and discouraging. How do I deal with it? I do not let it get to me. I do not think about it. The time this thing used to bother me was like when I just started like some time back. It used to bother me. But now I really do not care. I've come to accept that that is how people are. People are like that and you can't do anything to change them. You see YouTube big YouTubers with over like 15k views having just 100 comments, 200 comments. So relax, relax. Human beings are just like that. I, I do not comment on every YouTube video. To be very honest, I don't. Not 
because I don't want I just I don't just know but like that thing happens and it's quite understandable so you should learn to deal with it because you said that you're complaining you don't comment on every video you come across so you just have to take a chill pill but the sad thing is when your friends like your friends your friends are not you know giving that energy you such a sorry about that hon question trouble you face while uploading videos data data is not a trouble but data is expensive i make some videos that i use less than one gig to upload and i think the highest is six gig there are videos that take over six gig i know of someone that said she used more than 10 gig to upload one video one time and then there are times where like the network just gets shitty and your video stops even if it's at 98 percent that's even the most painful when it is almost done uploading and this kind of thing happens like sometimes it just clears or you just have to clear by yourself because it won't move like nothing you want to do so it's actually a trouble you should pray before uploading the video is a 50 how do you film and edit so fast because the energy you use in pumping videos out not before here or and how do you gain more subscribers because i feel it's just you to put in your videos out cost of too much consistency why is it too much consistency <laughs> okay how do i film and edit so fast i said it before that it is you it's all about you if you want to do it if you put your mind to it you'll be able to do it i want to upload 10 videos this is my day one and i do not have my videos ready but i know that if i want to do it i can do it and my mind is made up so i'll definitely be able to do it even though it's going to cost me a lot because i'm going to make a lot of sacrifices but i don't mind i do not mind because it is me that's what i want that's what i want to do so i don't think there's a secret to that it's just your mindset and time management yeah next one um how do you gain more subscribers because i feel it's just you to do Yes, the YouTube algorithm favors consistency, but I don't think it's just consistency because I actually make conscious efforts. I text people one on one. I talk to people on my channel. Yes, I text people. I tell people. I I share my links every time on different platforms. I put it on my stories on my. I think it's just conscious efforts. Yes, the algorithm favors consistency, but. You need to make conscious efforts too. Is YouTube a lifelong thing? Would you stop when school resumes? Yes, YouTube is a lifelong thing, and I won't stop when school resumes. I mean, I was, I've been making video. Like, I made videos even when I was in school before this try thing. Question: What app do you use to edit your videos? I use InShot, and I use CapCut. I use InShot basically. The only time I use CapCut is when I need like specific features that the InShot app does not have. I don't really have questions to ask but your videos are really nice and keep it up thank you who was your first boy ask me youtube related questions what is boyfriend doing here what was your expectation when you aged 18 years versus your reality this is not youtube related but okay there's a little sense in the question what was my expectation i was thinking 18 you know this i'm a big girl i'm lego uh, but i think i'm still the same uh, the way i was when i was 17 the way i am now i'm not seeing the difference life is still but life is still life life is still happening things oh uh, age is just a number i'm telling you next question what was your biggest setback as a youtuber my biggest setback was when like this time where i thought it's not even i thought I had this energy when I was just done with secondary school. You know the whole corona thing affected universities too. So like when we were done, we had to wait for them to go back to school and complete like the thing before we resume. So like I had a lot of time. Like I had from January to July, I had like time at home doing nothing. And I thought I was going to be really consistent, but like all through those like months, I didn't have a phone. I was because i'm very certain or i was certain or i'm still certain i could have achieved a lot if i was consistent that time because i wasn't doing anything it's just like this astro strike i wasn't doing anything i was just at home and i thought i would achieve a lot but i didn't have a phone and like my phone spoiled and my phone was having issues i just couldn't do youtube and it was really you know it really hurt me and also it's just my phone spoiling and the time they stole my phone too yeah there was like it was a setback for me but 
once you have the mentality that everything happens for a reason everything happens you get regrets since you started youtube i don't have any regrets i can think of i'll just say mistakes and i do not regret the mistakes because i mean if i didn't make those mistakes i wouldn't get corrected or i won't correct myself and i don't regret any of my mistakes. question do you make money on youtube i don't make money on youtube yet and what apps do i need if i'm starting up my channel you need editing apps there's kind master there's um film goal there's imovie there's vllo there's inshorts there's CapCut. There are lots of editing apps and then you need youtube studio to track your analytics and then you need the youtube app next question where do you get your non-copyright sound tracks i just go on youtube and search for non-copyright sounds and i listen to them and download the ones i like question explain the monetization policy please all the videos i've seen on this monetization policy is always a very long video so if i'm going to explain this that's to be another video on its own but just know to get monetized you need 1k subscribers and you need 4000 watch hours and you get paid um um per 1k watch ad watch watch per 1k ad view i guess i would i might make a video to explain it very well question how old is your baby your channel this question is into I created this channel that was two years ago so my channel is two years or oh, it will be two years very soon yeah i created it almost two years ago but if you're talking of when i became serious on the channel then the channel is five months what kind of content do you hope to put out in the future deep question i just want this channel see from the name of the channel you know that the channel is basically all about me and i really do not have a niche i haven't found a niche and i don't even think i want to focus on a niche probably if i find something i want to continue doing i could start it out as a series not like that's what the whole thing will be about because i mean i also do a lot of things on this channel i don't really think sometime in the future this channel will be for just one thing no i don't think so next question who do you really want to collab with I love to meet Coty. I love Coty. When you are monetized, will you accept all sponsors that reach out, or will you only work with people whose brands you support? If I say now that I'm going to work with only the brands I support, a brand I do not support may come with a very huge offer, which I may not resist. <laughs> there are some brands I can, I'm sure, I will not work with because of like their products. Depends on your product. Yeah. See me talking like <laughs> but there are some there are some things that I really do not support and I don't see myself like promoting it in any way. How long does it take to upload on an average? It takes like some minutes. Sometimes it drags. Depending on the length and like the resolution of the video. How bulky the video is. That's that was the last question. I want to thank you guys so much for sending in your questions for making this video lively I really appreciate thank you for sending in your questions please like leave a comment subscribe share see you guys in my next video